Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Auntie. It's Rayanne Samantha, and I have my little daughter here. She will not leave me alone today, so she is going to be a part of this video. Let's hope it goes okay. Many of you guys have been asking about my natural hair regimen, so I decided to finally film one, and I'm really excited to film another video because I know, I know, I know, um, it's been a long time since I made a new video. Also, I just want to thank you guys for watching my um, video about um, my postpartum depression and anxiety. A lot of people got back to me and it was just, the support was really overwhelming. So I just want to thank you guys just forever who re for whoever reached out to me um, and thanked me for um, sharing my my story. And also for those of you that have shared, that have shared your stories with me, um, thank you as well. Okay, I'm back. I just have to situate my daughter because she was getting a little bit too crazy for the video. Um, she's still here though. So let's just hope this goes okay. Anywho, this is just what works for me, guys. Um, as much as I have been posting a lot of products on my um, on my Instagram page, I just recently started started using a lot of new products. But for the most part, I just stick to my holy grail. So sometimes it does get a bit expensive being a natural. So I try to just keep it um, pretty simple. You want this one? I'm just going to talk about... Um, what I use to cleanse my hair. So when I'm getting ready to cleanse my hair, before I co-wash or um, shampoo my hair, I use Bragg's apple cider vinegar. You don't have to use this brand. I mix about two parts water to one part apple cider vinegar and I just put it in a bottle and I just go ahead and squirt it all over my hair. You can check my wash day um, routine video on my channel as well to see how I use I it. I just find that it cleanses my scalp so much. I should say clarifies my scalp a lot. My scalp immediately feels, I guess, calmer. It does have a strong smell. So if you're sensitive to smells, that might not be something that you want to use. But that's definitely something I do all the time before I wash my hair. I tend to co-wash between one week to a week and a half. When I'm lazy, two weeks, let's be honest, but I aim for co-washing at least once a week. I usually co-wash with uh, As I Am's Coconut Co-wash, and this thing is my holy grail. I love it. It's really inexpensive. I think I pay like, I think it's under $10 in Canada, and as you can tell, it's a pretty big jar. It's a 16 ounce jar but it lasts a lot. A little goes a long way with this product. It has awesome slip. It smells really great. It's bomb.com. So this is definitely a holy grail that I'll always use. I'll always stick to. This is by my side all the time. Next is um, shampooing. And I tend to shampoo between every two to three weeks, depending on how much product buildup I have, product buildup that I have or um, sometimes my scalp just gets really itchy and I feel like I need to just cleanse whatever is bothering my scalp. So the shampoo that I love, 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 love is Cream of Nature's Acai Berry. Don't come for me if I said that wrong and keratin strengthening shampoo. I don't have any problems with this stripping my hair. I find that it's very moisturizing. The smell, guys. It smells like tropics. It smells like berries and wonderful goodness. <laughs> I also use this in the mango scent. That, between this and that, I don't even know which one I like better, but they both smell amazing. And once I wash my hair with this, my hair feels so clean, but it doesn't feel like, it doesn't feel dry and brittle or anything like that, which I love about this product. This is also pretty inexpensive. I think it's like $8.99 and again, I'm in Canada, so I don't know how much it is where you are, but I mean, it's a 12 ounce bottle for $8.99. So these are my faves. Conditioners. I condition every single time I wash my hair. And to be honest, I opt, I usually opt for cheaper conditioners because all this hair, I can't afford to be buying these tiny little bottles of conditioner that I literally go through in two washes. So I tend to get like, family size um, conditioners and just cheap brands like this one is the Herbal Essences Hello Hydration Conditioner. I love this conditioner um, because it does have zero parabens in it now. 
Um, it's gluten free and it's free of mineral oil as well. I don't think it always was, um, but that's a great thing. I love this conditioner because again, it smells awesome and the slip is amazing for detangling. I usually put this in my hair. Um, I just put it all over and I'm super, 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 super heavy handed on this because again, it's cheap and I typically use it to detangle my hair. Uh, I don't have it with me, but I also use Tesemate's Luxurious Moisture or something like that. I use that sometimes as well just to detangle my hair. I just find that that works for me. I leave it in for a while. I know some bottles like say to leave it in for like 15 minutes or whatever, but I don't listen to that. I usually leave them in for at least half an hour, sometimes up to two hours. Yeah, that's what I do. And I just use my fingers as well as a wide tooth comb to detangle. I never detangle on dry hair because that's just a recipe for disaster with natural hair. So this is my fave as well as my fingers. And I just, I can't really show you, but I just really go through with my fingers and the wide tooth comb if I'm having a hard time. Yeah, so that's what I do for detangling. So moving on to deep conditioning. I know there's people, there are people out there that swear by deep conditioning. You have to deep condition every week. That's not something that I've done for my hair specifically, but if that's what works for other people, that's great for them. I try my best to deep condition every two to three weeks. I just used to use like DIY, DIY, yes. I was gonna say DIY, but yes, DIY mask, whether that was just oils mixed up I will make a video of my DIY um, deep conditionings, deep conditioners, but basically I just used to use avocado sometimes um, mixed with some hot oils such as coconut oil, grapeseed oil, just heating those up. But the deep conditioner guys that I'm obsessed with, obsessed, that does wonders, miracle in a bottle is... Myel Organics Babasu do not come do not come for me again I don't even know if I'm saying that right but is Myel Organics Babasu oil mint deep conditioner this right here is, is the ish like it's awesome it is eight ounces I think it was like I got it on sale and I think I paid Guys, I don't even remember. I think I want to say like $13.99 or $14.99. It smells so good. It's like when you put it on, it feels like your head is just like sucking on a mint. Like it's so good. It feels really therapeutic. It smells amazing. But what it does for your hair, your hair feels um, like brand new that's all i can say it just feels brand new you go in there with your hair crusty and dry and it comes out feeling like yes yes i guys i don't even have words for this deep conditioner it is bomb.com love it love it love it again i will do an updated wash day routine so that you guys can see how i use this product but one more time one more time guys this right here is everything so the next topic is a little bit confusing because I feel like when it comes to styling your hair, it depends on what you're doing. So I can't tell you exactly what products I use all the time because it, it definitely varies based on what I'm doing, whether it's a twist out, a wash and go, braid out, etc. I try my best, for example, if I'm doing if I am doing a braid out or a twist out, I try my best to do to use the lock method. So that is leave-in, oil, and cream. The leave-in that I use is aloe vera juice. And that the one I use is Lily of the Desert and it has the whole leaf in it. I use this with my spray bottle. I don't have any in there. I use this with my spray bottle. I The ratio that I use is, I believe, I don't even, I don't really measure things guys, but I kind of just eyeball it. I use like, <laughs> I don't even know. Okay, so let's say one to one and a half. So one part aloe vera juice, one and a half parts water. Again, I don't measure, I don't really measure things. So 
I'll probably put like this much aloe vera juice and then water up until here. So yeah, I use that as um, a leave-in. I find that it just hydrates my hair and I typically spray my hair with that every morning and spray my hair with it every night. And then I go in with some sort of um, oil depending on the season. So when I find that it's really cold and really dry outside, I use a heavier oil and um, the one I use is um, Jamaican Isle Black Castor Oil. Sorry, Sunny Isle Jamaican Black, Black Castor Oil. I really like this product because it has helped to thicken my hair a lot. Sometimes I also opt for just coconut oil. Actually, why am I saying sometimes? I use coconut oil all the time. As I said, if it's really cold, I will use coconut oil in conjunction with another heavier oil. But in the summer months, I typically just use coconut oil. I don't have any more of it, but my go-to holy grail cream is Cantu Argan Oil Leave-In. I'm pretty sure every natural you've watched on YouTube has used this stuff. I'm pretty sure you've used this stuff and it's just everything. I think the most I've ever paid for it was $7.99 and it lasts me a long time and I'm, re I'm really heavy handed on this product, but it does wonders for my hair. Honestly, I can't stress enough how much this helps my hair, especially when I find that it is, um, my hair is really dry or just feels like really stringy. I always go back to my Cantu and I, I'll never leave you. I will never leave my Cantu. Um, definitely loyal to my Cantu leave-in, especially when, you know, I try different products and they don't work for my hair. I just always go back to my Cantu. So that's definitely a staple in my hair regimen. If I am doing a braid out, I gotta tell you guys. Camille Rose Natural Almond J Twisting Butter. It's so amazing. I want to show you guys a picture of my braid out. When I used that, I was in love. That works wonders for my hair. That's another product that I use for my twist outs. I'm not quite sure what else to tell you guys. I wish I could say I do daily scalp massages like other naturals do. I would love to say that, but I really don't have time for all that. I do, oh, I forgot. I do at night times put black castor oil, the one that I showed you guys earlier, around the perimeter of my hair because I had a lot of um, postpartum shedding. And guys, my edges are making a comeback. They really are, which I'm really happy about. Like, look at this. But anywho, um, that's a video for, that's a, another video for another time. And honestly, guys, that's about it. So I hope this video has helped somebody out there, um, especially those that have been asking about my natural hair regimen. Sorry, I know it's not super intricate. To be honest, with two little babies, I really don't have a lot of time to work with my hair. I just do, as I said, what's been working for me. Yeah. Uh, honestly, what I can say is that consistency 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 is key if you find that a product didn't work for you the first time sometimes it takes um try it again sometimes it takes a few times just to see how it works with your hair maybe you use a different product in conjunction with that specific product and that's why it didn't work so try and feel it out don't just don't just cancel out a product just because it didn't work the first time. Yeah, guys, that's all I can really say. Again, if you have any other questions, comment down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.